it's your boy lb again welcome back to my youtube today i'm going to show you how to be a spider-man first you need a video footage acting like someone who is going to grab something with spider web so this is a friend he grabbed the disc cup and then put it into my hand with the same position okay without moving so this is how you can shoot if you want to do this effect just shoot the video clip same as like this okay so now let's jump on in the software and let's see how it is all right guys so this is my clip and then let me import this spider web okay so let me drag this clip here on this timeline so now i'm going to find where the the spider web will start it will start okay so when i start to shoot here like this this is where my spider web it will start so now click here on edit and then click here on split rear to cut or just you can use ctrl plus shift plus d yes to script a layer so now let me find the best place where my cup is on my hand so then after this i'm gonna delete this middle space layer and then after i will pull these remains one so when i play yeah that is it okay let me extend back okay let me pull this one yeah this is cool so now click here on this top layer and then click ctrl plus d to duplicate let click on it click here on time and then click here on freeze frame so now after this let me hide it so for this clip and then right click here on it i'm going to rename this is the grab bottle okay and this is the second one let me rename it this is hard it and the last one let me choose a name let me name empt yeah just you can rename any name just you want okay so now duplicate this clip and then right click on it click on time and then freeze the frame So now let me back here on this on this grab bottle tool so now i'm going to mask this cup okay so let me use this pen tool for masking okay <clears throat> yeah this is cool so then so then let me reduce this grab bottle so now this is a bottle only this is a bottle only so then after this move this empty layer down of this bottle layer so I have to show it. I open up this eye. Click here on this bottle layer. And then I'm going to. I'm going to animate. So now I have to extend this empty. Yeah, this empty layer. So now use this ellipse tool. So now I have to mask this bottle again. Because you know I'm going to animate from this no sorry I'm going to animate this bottle from this speaker to my hand okay ladies and gentlemen yeah this is the layer of my bottle 
so now move this occur point then i have to put it into the center of this object so now let me open up this transform i have to find scale rotation and position okay yeah this these opacities are not allowed okay have to choose this position scale and rotation and then let me move where am i my animation to a b end okay on this bottle okay so now let me move uh sorry here i am using an anchor point tool okay so let me back okay so now i'm going to use these numbers of this position and scale in the rotation okay i have to move from here to speaker to to my hand okay guys you have to make sure this position for moving from one side to, one, to another side this k is for scaling big or small okay and rotate is to, is to rotate okay you know so when i pray okay this is cool but my animation is moving slow okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to reduce the space between those keyframe okay yeah this is fast okay so let me let me increase the speed again yeah this is cool man but i have to increase another speed okay just like this okay yeah man this is cool mm -hmm. so now i'm going to import this spider web okay so i'm going to animate it so i have to move this anchor point where this spider web it will comes from you know it will start on my hand and then it will pull this cup from this speaker to my hand okay so now i'm going to use this rotation you see where my finger is okay just like this and then move down to my cup so click s on the keyboard to scale yeah this is cool mm -hmm. so guys i'm going to find the effect called these roughen edges and then drag it here on this web spider so i just want to edit because i want to looks like like real spider spider web okay so i have to to balance these these edges settings okay so now let me search another one called turbulent noise this one too and then drag it then I have to increase this contrast and this brightness okay mm -hmm. yeah man so i'm going to animate this by the web okay so i add the keyframe here of scale so now i have to Put it zero again here you see i have two frames okay so now right click on it and then i have to click here on easy easy no this or just you can use f9 shortcut so guys you see when i pull my cap but the spider web is is still 
is still a variable. Mm -hmm. I have to pull my cap. So, so now I'm going to add another keyframe. This spider web will be disappeared just like this, okay? Yo -ho. Yeah, man. So, but I have to to increase the, this space between those two last frames, okay? Because this spider web is, is running too fast, but my cap is still old. <laughs> okay, just, just like this, okay? This is cool. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That is it, man. Mm. Yeah, so I have to enable this smooth. Yeah, wear my cup. My cap and this spider web look like smooth, okay? It has more speed. So now I'm gonna search the effect called this mesh warp. So now I'm gonna to edit this spider web looks like really real 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 spider web okay so i have to use these these points okay just like this uh -huh. yep yeah man this is cool So when when I pull my cap, eh, man, the, the, this is boom, 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 boom. <sighs> I know this video is very helpful to you guys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, share, and comment. Stay creative. Peace.